All right, we're back with our homeowner, John, and we're going to look at the technology side of the eye control. John, what I have uh, just did before we started filming is I sent a test email. Okay. Uh, just, just threw a test email out there, went through your, your router and out into the ether world, and um, I'm going to go retrieve it right now, and I'm going to show it to you on my iPad. By the way, thanks for sending my router. Oh, you're welcome. You can thank the guys at AIE. Thanks, AIE. <laughs> Because it would have taken me two weeks. Our, our partners at AIE are, are excellent. They come in, they follow our, our plumbing contractors after these jobs, and they, they take care of the uh, customer's technology needs. Yeah, these guys found a perfect place for my router, and it took a little bit of effort getting it there, but everything works. Computers work, this works, everything works. Fantastic. Good job, Mark and Jeremy. Okay, I'm going to grab an email here. So this is, the, this is the test email. You can see mm -hmm. it up in the subject line. It doesn't matter if we get it on the screen or not. But what you're going to see, and you might be able to get that on screen, is you're going to get a, re a remote and a local access in the email. And this mm -hmm. is whether it's a test email, an alarm email. It could just be a periodic email that's telling you everything's fine. Okay. But we're, gonna, we're here in your house, and we're on... Yeah, there's no alarms at this time. We're here in your house. We're on your local router. Mm -hmm. we're, shared, we're on the same router this is on. Gotcha. So we're going to use the local access link, mm -hmm. which will pop up the interface of that unit. Oh, I see. And then I can control it from here. Yeah. So now this, you, this control, these buttons are all live. So if I push a button here, it beeps it. there. Mm -hmm. And the screen corresponds. Mm -hmm. So this is all live. Uh, and it, and it, the label or the, the graphic here is identical to that. Sure. So you recognize it. You know how to use it. Um, we can go through, we can run tests, we can change settings and all that kind of thing. But when you're online and using the online interface, you actually just log in. And the default password to log in is our fear fusional. Okay. And what our fear fusional will do is give us these five tabs across the top. Now the five tabs, the legend is the first one, and it just basically is a little bit of an owner's manual. It tells, mm -hmm. you, how, tells you what the stuff does, what the buttons do. The next one is configuration. So we could turn this sideways and actually make it a little bit bigger. So configuration tells us how, how this system in particular is set up. So just pick a couple things. So pump runtime is at 10 seconds. It'll self-test every 12 hours. The, the name is, called, is Howell. We, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll white out your uh, phone number there. Don't worry about it. And then uh, um, you can run a pump test. So right here, I'm going to push a button, and, and you'll hear the pump start running. Yeah, it's great. I'm going to turn it off. But you'll see results back up here on the screen, system one test successful. The next tab is the alarm tab. If, if there were an alarm, one of these green this fields... This show me what it's Yeah, for. the green mm -hmm. field would be red, and you could silence it just by touching that red field. It would okay. turn it yellow, which would mm -hmm. mean it's silenced. Uh, we'll skip ahead here to the hist... There's a history. If you retrieve the history, it'll, it'll, there aren't any alarms in history because there's a new unit but it would retrieve the last 24 alarms for you to show you if for some reason you wanted to see what order the alarms came in at or try to piece back together uh, the, the power outage information, etc. And then the last one is the emails. And again, we'll... Yeah, we'll it goes through out. a sequential who it's going to call and contact. Yeah, and it'll go to all these. Actually, there's e email number one, email number two, and email number three. And uh, I'll, I'll put mine up here, but each, each email you can customize. So for some reason, you wanted one email to get certain alarms and not another one to get sure. those alarms. Like you could put a text address in here, for example. Maybe you only want a text if it's something urgent. Right. You know, however somebody wanted to configure it. You'll get an IP uh, email if the IP address were to ever change by your, by your ISP. Back on the config screen, I'm going to back up just for a second here. Back to this config screen, there's, a, there's another field here called uh, AOK Notify. And it's set for 120 minutes. That's just our testing uh, sure. default setting. You're probably going to want it for maybe seven days or maybe even every day. What that'll do is you're not getting an alarm every day, so but you're kind of wondering maybe if everything's okay. The AOK -okay just tells the tells my unit, the the controller here, it tells the unit go out as long as there's no alarms and there's no other reason. Go ahead and send an AOK -okay email. Just, gotcha. Just a positive so, reinforcement that everything works. And I could change this in the spring. I want. I want one every one day. One every day, right? I want every day. In the winter, maybe once a week. Right, right? exactly. Whatever. So I can configure that to my my, as, my as often as you want. Okay. Just log in and do it. But then, to, in order to be a recipient of that email, then you'd include yourself right here. Gotcha. A OK email. 
And then anytime you make a change like that, you're going to hit the submit button. And just make it take. Sure. And, gotcha. then, and then the controller says, oh, okay. What a great system. Can I get this system for other things in my life? Could you set me up uh, with something like this to keep track of my son? We don't have that attachment yet, but uh, we could work on it. That's a billion dollar idea we, right we there. We do have attach <laughs> other attachments. Could you attach so, one of these to my son yeah, no. so I could find him whenever I want to? There, there are other attachments with this system. So for example, you have an ejector pit over here. Yeah. We could put a sensor in that pit that communicates with this and you get an alert if that pit ever that's filled. gets high. Mm -hmm. Right. And there's other sensors too for other things. Water sensors for the floor and for like the water heater. Actually, you had a leak over here before. I saw that. Um, yeah. I'll explain why in a minute. But, uh, so, yeah, there, there are, the, the system was actually built to be expandable and scalable. And, you know, the more you have in your basement, the more important this is. So if Absolutely. I had family heirlooms over there, I could have you put sensors in over there that would alert me and send me A-OK. -okay emails and yeah if there's trouble sure right. sure yeah. yeah there's there's other things you, you can even set up motion sensors anything that has contacts you can set up to to work through the unit and as long as your router's working as long as your internet's working as long as your iphone's working you're really never out of touch that's right i tell you i hate surprises a couple times in my life i've come home to floods and it's not a good feeling no in fact the last time when this thing blew up you know everything was flooded yeah. i had no idea what was going on i mean my sump pump was going off but of course i didn't know until i came home yeah. yeah. So it's a great system. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thank really happy. Really happy. All right. Great Excellent. system. Thank you.